Hello, greetings from Boonari TV. The news alert topic for today is two days, three deaths due to dowry. What is dowry? Any property or valuable security given or agreed to be given by one party in a marriage to the other party is called dowry. According to the Indian law, any property such as a house, land, etc. being asked for during marriage is unlawful. In fact, both taking and giving dowry is a punishable crime. In spite of this Indian law, the dowry practice is still being followed. In most cases in the Indian culture, it is the bride's side that has to give the dowry to the groom's side. Although just because the law doesn't accept dowry, this practice is still continued and they term it as a gift. But in reality, it's not really a gift. Dowry has been making the lives of many married women miserable for a long time who are usually victims of harassment. Recently, in the month of June, there has been an outrage in Kerala because within just two days, there have been cases of the dowry issue leading to deaths of three women. The first case is of a woman named Vismaya from Kollam, who was aged 24. This young lady was found dead in her in-law's house. She had committed suicide. Vismaya's parents had alleged that last year during her daughter's marriage ceremony, they had given a lot of gold. The gold was worth weighing 732 grams and they had also gifted a car. The car was Toyota Yaris. They gave all this as gifts at the time of her wedding. But problems started when her husband felt that the car was not up to his status. He used to abuse Vismaya both mentally and physically over the issue, causing her a lot of harassment. And finally, after a fight with her husband, she went into her room and killed herself. The second was a woman named Archana, a resident of Vizinjam in Tiruvananthapuram. The 24-year-old died after she was set ablaze, allegedly by her husband. The couple had married in 2020 and soon after, her husband had started torturing Archana, demanding more dowry. So, Archana started staying with her own parents. Her husband had come to take her back home from her family's house. When he reached there, he had a bottle of diesel with him, which he claimed was to control termites on the wooden furniture. But her husband took the same diesel bottle and set Archana on fire. On the same day, another incident took place. A woman named Suchitra who lived in Alapuza was a 19-year-old who was found dead in her in-law's house. The victim, Suchitra, was recently married in 2021. Her husband was an army man. As dowry, her parents purportedly paid for 51 sovereigns, that is 373 grams of gold and a car too. After marriage, her husband had gone back to his posting in the Indian state of Uttarakhand, which is located in the north, and resumed his work. But within a few months of marriage, Suchitra's in-laws pressed for more dowry. They began demanding rupees 10 lakh in cash and harassing her for the same. Suchitra's mom was aware that her daughter was being harassed for dowry. So when the news of Vismaya's suicide became known, she was extremely worried. She called and told her daughter never to take such an extreme step. No matter what happens, don't ever think of doing anything like this. We're always there for you. Suchitra convinced her mom that she would never do anything of this sort and would talk to her husband when he returned. But 
The following morning, Suchitra was found dead. These news incidents are shocking and such cases are on the rise not just in Kerala but in many other parts of the country, irrespective of the communities and educational background. Being harassed for dowry is absolutely unlawful. It's high time that the dowry practice should be stopped.